It'd have to be myself, just the general being of me. What would you guys talk about? I don't know. I'd have to come up with questions in relation to who I am right now versus who I might become versus who I have been in the past. Uh, I'd probably have dinner with um, with Jesus here. Yeah? Like I'd want to have like that last supper. I just want to see. I just want to see what was going down. Yeah, like all the disciples and everything. Yeah, that's probably it's a famous dinner. Probably the most famous dinner I could think of. Yeah. Don Corleone, I think. It's a gangster. Famous one. Just because uh, it's rad how he managed to pull all this gangster stuff off. Not that I want to be a gangster, but it's just it's so different from what I am. And it's scary and fascinating at the same time. So yeah, definitely Don Corleone. Oh, easy, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> because we would obviously get along from drinking and stuff. Uh, Californian girls, for sure. Because uh, I love California. I love the style, the lifestyle here. And uh, I love uh, Americans. <laughs> My brother Max over there, because I love him. What would you guys talk about? Normal shit. Awesome. Madonna. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Tupac. Because that's my favorite artist of all time. Lindsay Pellis. Blonde. Great eyes. And a rack's outrageous. I'd invite Elon Musk to dinner. I think he's um, like I think he's a force for good in the world. And he's a revolutionary, like we don't have many of those these days. Yeah, I just want to pick his brain. It would be my mom. <laughs> I told you it was lame. Um, I don't know, we just get along really well. And we would talk about all the shit that we do when we're not together, which is a lot of the time. Sofia Vergara. Uh, we're, uh, she's from Colombia, and I think she's a beautiful woman. Obama. I want to invite Obama to dinner. And we would just talk about how his presidency went. I think I'm gonna go with Jimi Hendrix. A lot of his philosophies and perspectives are reflected in his music. Just having a conversation with him over dinner would be so enlightening. Actually, I can say The Rock because we actually just talked about him. <laughs> and ask, just ask him about anything. He seems like a cool dude to hang out with. My wife. Because <laughs> we never get a chance to do it. A chef called René Redshade. He's uh, the former of the Danish restaurant Noma, which won the best restaurant of the world, like three times. No, I used to be. I was a chef student once. Now okay. I'm starting business. I want to talk to him about creativity and the process in creativity. I would like to invite my grandpa okay. because he's one of my favorite persons in the whole world. He's not here anymore, but. I'd like to, you know, ask him a little bit more about life. Probably Bent Staples. Yeah. Just because he's kind of like what my highest self wanted to be before like I failed at that. So I would want to talk to him. I feel like it would just be really inspiring. Do you have a question that you might want to ask him? Um do you ever feel lonely, and how do you cope with your loneliness? Trevor Noah, <laughs> because uh, he's just so smart and funny and knows so much, so I think it would be interesting to have a conversation with him. What are his thoughts on, on social, like how social media is affecting people's interaction in 2017? Um, the way media is being disseminated as well as just like the way people interact, you know, phones, Snapchat, Instagram. Is it all too plastic these days? Do people still um, hold uh, decent conversations anymore, you know, like in person, face to face, you know, or are you going to sit at the table with somebody and just keep looking at your phone for every five minutes? So. I think I will take my girlfriend. <laughs> Because uh, she's very close to me, like, she's my girlfriend, like, she's essential for my life, like. <laughs> hmm, I thought about this before. Um, I thought it's between a comedian, because they're funny, and 
just somebody famous just to get it off the bucket list. I think I'm going experience, so I'd, I'd pick a comedian. Um, right now I'm really into like Daniel Tosh, he's hilarious. I would pick him because I, I just have so many questions to ask him about like, you know, how he got into it, how he started and like his first show. He's pretty private, he doesn't really live a social media life, so I have no idea what he does when he's not on his TV show. Um, I would pick him, and if I could choose the place to go to dinner, um, it would be something disgusting, like, you know, he's gonna get sick and complain the whole time about it. <laughs> Selena Gomez, cause she fucked, she fucked over Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think I'd just make it a fun one and choose Jim Morrison, cause I've always, you know, I just thought it'd be a perfect guy to hang out with one evening, I and mean, then he could sit there, he could tell you poems, he could sing you a song, drink some whiskey with him, I guess, and, you know, talk about the blues. He can't be hot. <laughs> Why? I like him, I love him, man. Just hang out. <laughs> Maybe my mother, huh? What would you guys talk about? Uh, about my life, about she's life. Uh, Justin, uh, Justin Bieber, because he slays pussy. <laughs> okay, do you have any questions you want to ask him? Nope. I'm going to say Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura form, and because. Probably astronaut Chris Hadfield, and we'd go to like wings and things. Uh, probably because he's a nice guy. I read his book. It's a good book. Uh, I would say my sister. Okay. Sam. Uh, she just passed away. This was like six months ago. And uh, the reason I say that is this place that I'm staying right now, a hostel, is something that reminds me a lot of. Her lifestyle so it's, it's kind of weird I just found myself here if you look right over behind us at the beach bungalow um, I see a lot of her in there so I mean I'd like to spend another dinner with her